One of the biggest places that the black community comes to is the church. We're very big on our faith. The challenge I had was they didn't believe in mental health. They didn't want to talk about it. That was a taboo. My children were going through a whole lot. And so I sought assistance from my church at that time. I was told to pray about it, but I figured in my own spirit that something was deeper. Something, it wasn't just a behavioral issue. And so we suffered in silence. So years later, we joined another church. And by the time we joined this other church, I had already been introduced to NAMI. I had already seen the results in our family and how that had given us hope and how everybody was starting to heal. If I can just get our pastor to really just give us a chance, I believe that a lot of lives can be changed. So I approached my pastor and I said, I have a question. Would you be willing to listen to me talk about NAMI? Because I knew in our congregation that there were a lot of members that were going through mental health challenges but they didn't have the resources. They didn't know where to turn. At first, I got pushed back because still wasn't quite ready for that uh, combination conversation. And so then after a while, he said, you know, I think we should go ahead and do that. I said, oh, that's wonderful, that's great. And so he pulled me in front of the church and said, we're going to partner with NAMI and this is the young lady who's in charge and she knows, she's an expert, she knows all about that. And after church, there were so many people that came up and said, oh my goodness, we've been looking for some place, some resource, someone that says that they understand what we're going through. So there was a family, particular family, that I saw where the mother was distressed. I saw it on her face because I saw me. Several years ago, I saw me in her. And so after church, I went to her and I said, I noticed that you're, you're looking like you're going through something right now. She's like, yes, I'm going through this with my child and so forth and so on, right? She gave me more details. And I said, well, I can help you. And she looked at me, she said, really? She said, I've tried other places and nobody could help me. I said, I can help you. And so I signed her up for the NAMI class and she and her husband took the class. They went through the process and they, as, as, as with everyone, their whole life changed. And a whole year later, she said the same daughter that was despondent, the same daughter that didn't want to, you know, participate in things has now received a 4.0 in school. She's actually going to class, she's smiling. And she sent me her senior picture and I said, ooh, that smile is everything. And I said, look at her smile. She said, yeah. And I thank you, thank you for coming to me and giving me the information. And she said, our life has been so much better since. There are a lot more people that are coming forward because I believe the word is getting out that our congregation is a safe space, is a place where we help people understand where mental health is still a part of their wholeness and how we talk about it openly. And our pastor has made great strides in that. I love being a part of the NAMI family. I feel like I belong someplace and they get me.